Good day everyone. So for today's video, we're going to discuss something about the standard form of the equation of the ellipse given that um, the center is at the origin. Okay? So a review of what we have of what the last video is all about is that the um, standard form of the equation of the ellipse given that its center is at the origin. So we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So this um, this standard form of the equation of the ellipse is given uh, or is just for ellipses which are oriented horizontally to which ang ating uh, ma major axis is ay horizontal at ang ating minor axis ay vertical. Alright? So uh, kapag di kapag dinrawing natin siya or kapag in-sketch natin yung graph so yung ellipse natin ay ganito po. Okay? And the other one is that if we have x squared over a squared, I sorry, x squared over b squared plus y squared over, uh, over a squared equals 1. To which, our major axis now is, our major axis now is uh, vertical and our minor axis, at uh, our minor axis would be horizontal. At kapag in-sketch po natin yung graph, it is something like this one. Alright? So, we would have a vertical uh, vertical ellipse. Now, um, just like what we have discussed uh, again from the last video, that A, A is actually the distance from the vertex, or sorry, from the center, from the center to, sorry, the distance from the center to our what? To, verte to our vertex or vertices. Okay? And B stands for the distance from our center, of course, center ulit, to our co-vertex. And our C is actually the distance from our center down to our focus. To which, we assume that we assume that B is equal to the square root of a square minus C square. Okay po? Kung nakanini yung malaking value dito, yun yung ating A. So, dito lang po maglalaro yung ating formula. So, let us have an example. Suppose we are given this equation. We have down there, we have down there, x squared over 25 plus y square equal over 10 equals 1. Okay? So, tignan natin mabuti. Na, sino ba yung mas malaki? 25 is much more what? It's much more higher than 10. Ibig sabihin, yung ating A ay nakay x squared. This is actually x squared over a square plus y square over b square equals to 1. In that case, we would have an idea that this is actually what? A horizontal ellipse. At kapag horizontal po yung ating ellipse, meaning our major axis is horizontal and our minor axis is vertical. Okay po? Since we all know that a square here is equal to 25, then for us to get the value of a, we would have a square equals 25, and by extracting the root of both sides para matanggal yung exponent, that would become a is equal to 1. A would be uh, a would be equal to 5. Since we are talking about distance, then we, we go with the positive. Okay po? And, and since b is equal to, or we, we notice that b square here is equal to 10, then we would have b square equals to 10, and by extracting the roots of both sides, then B would be actually be square root of 10. Or um, approximately, this is equivalent to 3.16. So, these are the values of A and B. Okay po? And since uh, there is no modification on our x's and our x and y coordinate, then we would also have an idea that its center is at the origin. Or at 0, 0. And then, for us to get the value of C, we would use we would use the formula B is equal to the square root of A square plus or minus 
minus c square and we can actually we can actually have it b square equals to a square minus c square and for us to get the value of c square that would be a square minus b square and by plugging in the for the values to our formula that would actually be equivalent to c square equals at ang ating a square i25 minus 10 and then we would have what we would have c square equals to 15 and for us to get the value of c just um, extract the root of both sides to eliminate the exponent and c would be equivalent to the square root of 15 or approximately this is equivalent to 3.87 so this would be our value of c and by this we can now actually what we can now actually um, have our or we can actually determine the the coordinates of the different pictures of our um of our ellipse since it is given that uh, the center is at zero zero so let us just have the graph para mas ma visualize natin siya so that would be the center is at the origin and our vertex or the vertices of our ellipse is we all know that that is a units that is a units away from the center we have the idea that the um the ellipse is horizontal then uh, the vertices of the ellipse would be from uh, the left and the right of our center so we would have if it's from or if it's to the left and to the right of our center so that would be what that would be positive or negative a comma zero and to, to get the value of b sub one that would be what that would be positive a the value of our a is five and then we have zero and then we have vertex two we would have uh the negative of it though that would be negative five comma zero and if we're going to locate that on our cartesian coordinate system so we have one two three four five so this would be vertex vertex two and this would be our one two three four five this would be our vertex one so that that is where our vertices are located and then since we are given the value of b since we are given the value of b then we can have the coordinates of our co-vertices so we have co-vertices and we all know that the co-vertices are b units away from our center but and since our um uh, our ellipse is oriented horizontally then we know that the co-vertices would be what it would be above and below our center so ang ating magiging co-vertex would be at what that would be at zero comma positive and negative b so we would have vertex one or co-vertex one that would be at the positive one so we have zero comma the value of our b is 3.16 so we have 3.16 and then co-vertex two would be at zero comma negative 3.16 and if we're going to locate that on our cartesian coordinate system then we would have one two three so somewhere here this is co-vertex 1 and then we have co-vertex 2 we have 1 2 3 so somewhere here so this would be co-vertex 2 and lastly and lastly we would have our foci or focus the two focus would be we all know that the focus is c units away from our center and since our our ellipse is horizontally oriented then we know that the foci would be to the left and to the right of our center so the coordinates of the foci would be at positive or negative c comma zero since it's to the left and to the right so foci one foci one would be at what that's positive c so ang value po ng ating c is the value of our c is 3.87 so that would be 3.87 comma zero and our focus two would be at negative 3.87 comma zero and if we're going to locate that on our cartesian coordinate system we would have one two three so somewhere here malapit k4 this would be our focus two and we have one two three and this will be our focus one 
So this is where our focus are, our foci are located. And if we're going to sketch the graph, then the ellipse would be just like this one. So horizontally or yet. So let us have another example. Here we are to sketch the graph and write the standard equation of the ellipse where the center is at the origin. One of the foci is at 0, negative 4 and the sum of any point from the foci is 14. Okay po. Um, let us take down all the given. So sabi dyan, um, the center is at the origin. So our center would be at our center would be at 0, 0, or 0, 0. And then, sabi dyan, 1 of the foci. So, let us just say that that is foci 1. So, 1 of the foci is at 0, negative 4. And if we're going to sketch the graph, we would have the Cartesian coordinate system. If we're going to sketch that, if this is the center, and the foci is located here, at 0, negative 4, if si 0, negative 4 ay nakai, so 0, negative 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So here is one of the our foci. So let's say for example, it's foci 1. So given that the foci is below, is below our, it's below our center, then the other foci or the other focus would be above the center of the ellipse. So, kung ito is negative 4, then the other focus would be at 0, 4. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay po? So, this is where our focus or foci are. Okay? So, given that the foci are above and below the center, then it we would have an idea that we would have an idea that the ellipse is vertically oriented or vertical po yung ating ellipse. Since yung focus natin ay nakay or nasa taas at nasa baba ni center. Okay po? So meaning to say, if this is our foci, then we would have an idea that the value of C, the value of C would be 4. Okay po? So since it's 4 units above and below the center. Okay? And then we have another, we have another condition that the sum the sum of any point from the foci is 40. So if you would remember, or if you could remember, um, the sum of any point from the foci is equal to 2a. So we assume that that is 2a. So ibig sabihin, yung 14 natin is actually our 2a. And for us to get the value of a, that would be what? We're going to divide both sides by 2 and simplifying this the value of A would be 7. So, our value of A would be 7. Okay po? And we all know that if the value of A is 7, then we can actually have our vertices. Okay? Since we all know that the vertices is A units away from our, or A units away from our ver, uh, center. Okay? Since ang ating um, foci ay above and below, then, ang ating center would also be above and below. So, yung magiging coordinate niya would be at 0, comma, positive or negative A. Okay? So, our vertex 1, our vertex 1 would be at 0, comma, positive 7. And our vertex 2 would be at 0, comma, negative 7. Alright? So, let us locate that on our Cartesian coordinate system. So, we have... 0, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let us just extend. Let us just extend the graph. So the one of the vertex is here. So this is, so for example, this vertex 1. Pwede naman siya makabalik at vertex 1, vertex 2. And then the other one would be right down here. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is where vertex 2 is. So we have now the focus or the foci and the vertices of our um, of our ellipse. Then, we would have what? We would have our co-vertices. So, our co-vertices, for us to get the value of our co-vertices, or the coordinates of our co-vertices, then, since above and below na yung vertex natin, then the co-vertices should be what? To the left and to the right of our 
center. So if it's to the left and to the right, then the coordinates would be at positive or negative B comma zero. But then again, we are not yet given the value of B. All right. So how are we going to get the value of B? So just like Anina, we have assumed that the value of B would be obtained by having the square root of the square root of a square minus c square. And by this, since we are given we are given the values of a and c, which is four and seven, then we would have b equals b equals the square root of the value of a is seven, so that's forty nine. I sorry, a seven square, sorry, minus value of c is four. We have four square. Then we have b is equal to what? Is equal to is equal to forty nine minus that would be sixteen. So the value of b would be the square root of the square root of thirty three. All right. So the value of b would be equivalent to the square root of thirty three. Um, this would be approximately equivalent to. 5.74. So that would be our value of B. Hence, for us to have the co-vertices, then the coordinates would be the co-vertex 1, which is B. Or it can any it can be any letter. It, it can be W or what. Wag lang V, kasi yun yung vertex natin. So B would be at positive B. So that would be positive 5.74 and uh, comma 0. And the other one would be negative 5.74 comma 0. So this is where our co-vertices are. Okay, so if we're going to locate that on our Cartesian coordinate system, we have 5.74 comma 0. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5.74 somewhere here near 6. This is B1 or covertex 1. And then the other one will be negative 5.74 comma 0. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. So we have here, somewhere here. So this is B2. And if we're going to connect, if we're going to connect the vertices with that of the vertex, then we would have, so this is the ellipse that we are talking about. So this is a vertical ellipse to which, all right, so to which our mine major axis, since vertical siya, ang major axis natin, the y axis okay so ang ating major axis yung if it's y axis then the major axis is vertical and our minor axis would be what our minor axis would be this one the x axis which is horizontal all right so ating minor axis i horizontal since hindi pa natin nakukuha yung standard form of the equation of the circle since this is vertically oriented, then the standard form of the equation of the circle or the, the, the ellipse, sorry, that would be x squared over, since vertically oriented, that's b squared equals y squared, I'm sorry, not equals, but plus y squared over a squared equals 1. And then we just plug in the, the values to our formula. Since ang atin namang center is 0, so walang modifications kay x and y. So, we would have x squared equals b squared natin ay equivalent to, or yung b natin is actually equivalent to the square root of 33. So, that is the square root of the square root of 33 plus y squared over ang ating value ng a 7. So, we have 7 squared equals 1. And by, and by, simpli, uh, by simplification, then we would have what? We would have x squared over the square of the square root of 33, that is 33, plus y squared over 49 equals 1. So this would be the standard form of the equation of the ellipse that we are talking about. If you notice, si 49 mas malaki kay 33, kaya siya yung value ni A. Okay po? And that's how we use the standard form of the equation of the, uh, of the ellipse given that the, the center is at the origin.